Now, the objective of this lesson is that we will understand and will discuss some important project management concepts. We'll learn about the terms called project and operations and we'll make ourselves familiar with the project management concept. Then we'll discuss about the project, programs, and portfolios. And we'll also see the project schedule management in brief. Okay, so what's the basic function and why do we use Oracle Primavera P6? We use the Oracle Primavera P6 for schedule management, project monitoring and control purposes. That means the Primavera P6 is used for effective and efficient management of our projects. Now, can you define the term or word called project? According to the Project Management Institute, or PMI, a project is defined as a temporary endeavor or its effort that is undertaken to create a unique product service or result. Okay, so when we say temporary, that means you cannot carry on a project for an indefinite period of time. It means the project must have a definite start and end date. As you know, since a project must have definite time frame and within that timeline, we have to produce a unique product as defined in the project scope. So if we are carrying out a certain work in a project that has a start and then a definite end time in which we have to accomplish the project specific objective or goal, then this is what we call a project. Now for a project, Please remember that it has to be a temporary one and it have to have a timeline. Other than that, please remember every project need and make use of resources for carrying out the project work. Then as you know, every project will have a definition of product or service and it refers to as quality standards. And from the definition, please remember that we said that every project have to create a unique product, service or result, meaning that every project will have a unique outcome. Now, please note that a project must have a defined scope. Scope simply means the boundaries of the project work. In other words, what exactly the project is meant to accomplish or to achieve at the end of work and that's what we mean by a scope in a project. So please note that the Primavera P6 help us to create and manage our project schedules. Please keep in your mind that it's not just the schedule management or the timelines, but we have to determine the resources as well. The project resources can consist of people, machines and materials and all these resource types help us executing our project work. Okay, so that means that the cost or expenses are also involved with every single resource type in a project. So basically that resource cost or expenses consumes the project budget. Now from this discussion, I'm sure that you understand now that by using the Oracle Primavera P6, we can always carry out all of these elements that are present in the project definition as defined by the Project Management Institute or PMI. So understand that when we talk about project, we are simply talking about an effort or endeavor that has a start and end time. And then it produces unique product or results as required. Now, there is another important concept that you should be aware of. It is that the difference between a project and operation. Please note that usually we have two types of works that are carried out in a certain organization, which is called project and operations. So, What's the difference between a project and operations? Remember, we have just explained the term project, that a project has a definite timeline and it produces a unique product, while the operation on the other hand is described as the opposite of the definition of a project. So what do I mean by this? 
That means the operation is always continuous and repetitive. For example, launching of a new product in the market, upgrading your Primavera P6 local server-based installation to a cloud-based environment, and constructing a building or facility. These are some of the very common examples of a project. While on the other hand, the operation is ongoing and always is repetitive and it involves the type of work that is continuous without an ending date and we often use and repeat the same processes and produce the same result all the time. So we can say that the operation is like a business as usual. That means the set of activities that are repetitive, ongoing and produce the same results are what we refer to as operation. For example, in engineering and construction sector, the hiring and training of new employees and purchasing the construction material or machinery are the good examples of the operation. Okay, so till this point, we have understood the concept that what is project, what is the operation, and also we are aware of the difference between project and operation as well. Now, I would like to discuss another very important concept called project management. Now, you please remember that a project is temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. So that means you cannot carry on a project forever. It must have a definite start and end date to produce a unique product or service. Okay, then now let's discuss about the concept of project management. Now, for me, the project management is the science of getting things done. Now, according to the PMI or the Project Management Institute, we can define the project management as that it's the application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to the project activities to meet the project requirements. And this is achieved through properly applying and integrating all the project management processes and knowledge areas which ultimately helps the organizations to execute their projects effectively and efficiently. According to the PMI or Project Management Institute, the project management processes are initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and control, and closing. You know that the project management help and contributes to the success of the organization by delivering the value. Now, what do you mean by value? What does this explain? The good project management means to deliver value to an organization that it must complete project on schedule, on budget, and it must satisfy performance specification levels when it is accepted by the customer, sponsor, or the end user. I hope the concept of project management you understand this very well now. Okay, so we are aware of the concepts of project, operation and the project management. Now in summary, project is the temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. Now the operation on the other hand, it is repetitive, it is continuous and it maintains the status quo. While the project management, it's the art or it's the science of getting things done. Okay, so now next we are going to discuss and understand another very important concept, which is called program. Please note that according to the Project Management Institute, a program is a group of related projects managed in a coordinated manner to obtain the benefits that are not available from managing them individually. So that means when we have a group of related projects that we refer them as a program. Now that can be explained in another way. 
I mean, the programs are groups of related projects that are managed using the same techniques in a coordinated way. So, for example, if you are working in a large software development company, which is responsible for developing the software products for public and private sectors in the country, mainly for hospital operations, customer services, and telecom operations. So that means we have three programs. So in this case, all the IT projects related to the hospital operations will be managed and belong to the program called hospital operations. And all the projects related to the customer services will be under the customer services program. Similarly, all projects related to the telecom operations will fall in what is referred to as the telecom operations program. So just like I said earlier that a program, it simply refers to a group of related projects. But please remember that the biggest difference between the projects and the programs, it is that projects deal with delivering strictly defined outputs within a specific time scale and budget, whereas programs deal with delivering outputs that benefit the entire organization. In other words, the projects involve doing things right and programs involve doing the right things. So remember, in a program, we will have a centralized management of the related projects to achieve what we call as the economies of scale. Now, at this point of time, since we know that that a program, it's a group of related projects which are managed centrally. And next, we are going to discuss about another important project management concept, which is called the project's portfolio. Do you know what do we mean by portfolio? The Project Management Institute, or PMI, it provides the definition of a portfolio as that a portfolio is defined as projects, programs, subsidiary portfolios and operations managed in a coordinated manner to achieve the strategic objectives. And the portfolio management means that it's the centralized management of one or more portfolios to achieve strategic objectives. Now, if you can recall from our recent discussion that a project simply refers to the unique efforts or endeavors that enable us to achieve a certain objective. Also, we have discussed about the program already. Simply, we said that program is a group of related projects. And remember, we said that a portfolio is defined as projects, programs, subsidiary portfolios, and operations that are managed in a coordinated manner. Now, that means a portfolio is a combination of projects as well as programs, which also means that a portfolio is made up projects and programs and it supports a specific business goal or objective. So portfolio management includes managing the collections of projects, programs, and sometimes other portfolios, even within the same portfolio. That means you can also have other portfolios within a certain portfolio. Now, let's understand this. Remember that we discussed the term called project and you are also aware that we said that a program is a collection of projects and now we are saying that a portfolio is a collection of projects and programs. I mean, we know that the related projects make up program and then projects along with the programs now consist of what we refer to as the portfolio. Now, please note that the projects as well as programs will make up the portfolio. So if we put this all together, you will notice that the portfolios is at the highest level. Now, if we think projects, programs and portfolios together in a triangle, then portfolio will be at the top of the hierarchy. And we have projects at the bottom project one, project two, etc. And after we'll have programs such as program one, program two, and then the projects and programs together will form the portfolio, which is at the top. 
Now, to further understand this portfolio concept, let's concentrate and build our concept. Please remember that the portfolios are means to achieve organization's strategic objectives since the portfolios always exist in the top of the organization's hierarchy. So note that all the projects and programs are always created under the portfolio. Let's take an example. Let's say the range of products or services that are being offered by any organization to their customers is called the products or services portfolio. Let's say if a company, let's assume that the company name is Arba Incorporated. Arba is investing large amount of their money in the different sectors such as oil and gas, telecommunications, IT and health. Then this will be called the company Arba's investment portfolio. Now here in this example, all the projects and programs that will belong to the oil and gas will be managed under the oil and gas portfolio. Similarly, the projects and programs related to the telecom, IT and health will be managed by their respective portfolios under the Arba Incorporated. And please note that all of this to a large extent will fit into the Arba Incorporated investment portfolio. Now, as a summary, what we have discussed till now is that the projects are unique individual endeavors and programs are a group of related projects. And then the portfolio is now made up of projects as well as programs. Okay, and I hope that all this discussion will now help us understanding these important concepts that we will be using in the Oracle Primavera P6 during this course. Next, we are going to learn another very important and core concept which is called the schedule management. But first, let's define that what is the project schedule? Please note that one of the simplest definition of a project schedule is that a schedule is a listing of milestones, activities and deliverables of a project typically with planned start and finish dates. Now, as mentioned in the PMI PM Box 6th edition, the definition of the project schedule management is that the project schedule management includes the processes required to manage the timely completion of the project. So that means as a project manager, you make sure and it's your responsibility to have proper schedule management, planning and control in place to deliver all the project scope well on time. So the schedule management involves planning the project work that is required to complete the project in such a way that all the different requirements are completed in a timely manner, which includes how the activities will be prioritized and also how these activities will be sequenced or put into order so that the work is done in the correct sequence. Most important, the key concept here is that the schedule management involves the development of the project schedule or more precisely the timeline which the project is supposed to follow. The project work is required to follow the project schedule properly in order to successfully complete the project on time and within the budget. Now, the processes of the schedule management includes plan schedule management, define activities, and after once we are done with the define activities process, then we will sequence the project activities in the correct order. And the next process is estimate activity duration. And after we will concentrate and work to develop the project schedule. And lastly, we'll have the control project schedule process. Please remember that moving forward, we are going to perform all these steps in the Oracle Primavera P6. Okay, so till this point, we know and have discussed that what is the difference between project and the operation. We also defined and discussed the program and the portfolio. Then we have learned the project management and project schedule management concepts as well. And now let's move forward to our next topic and I will see you in the next lesson.